LL Trapster with AllstateAnimalControl.com. Well, we just barely did a skunk job, and it was really fun. And she took us in the house, and there was a really bad skunk smell. And we walked around the house, and we found a little opening that goes underneath the house, or a bay window. And then and we went back in the house, and we... I had to put on a full bodysuit <laughs> and we opened up a little crawl space hatch and I went down in there with a flashlight looking around all nice and quiet and a little scared because we didn't know if there was something down there and then we looked behind us and there was this we, see, we saw a skunk and it was laying down and we didn't know if it was sleeping or if it was dead or what we're not sure if it's dead or alive but we're pretty sure it's dead because it's not moving and we've tried calling to it anyway so we just we got a plastic bag and I crawled back there and I removed the skunk and the smell of the skunk the dead skunk anyway just stunk up their house so we removed it so hopefully that should help the smell that's my story it was fun good job thank you <laughs> down and we didn't know if it was sleeping or if it was dead or what and I wanted to throw something at it let me so you did anyway <laughs> I did anyway when you were gone <laughs> and it's tail like flipped up when I like I threw a rock at it and it's tail flipped up and it freaked me out because I thought I was alive <laughs> why did it flip up because I hit it with the rock did you hit the tail with the rock yeah oh my gosh <laughs> That scared me. I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> and there's like nothing left. All it was was like its back skin and its tail and one little foot and everything else was gone. Its head, its other legs, its stomach. 